Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 17th through the 23rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Leo. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the moon. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so there may be some things you're not fully aware of. Um, yeah, and with this one, I'm kind of getting a sense of you will be. So things that you weren't fully aware of might actually start getting revealed here. Um, we'll see. In the recent past, the Three of Cups, the Magician, the Three of Swords. You manifested something to come together beautifully here. Um, I don't think it happened in that way. I think I think it did initially, and then it turned into quite the painful experience here. Okay. In the current situation, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. This is looking good. You're going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Your energy is kind of building up, uh, especially in your sense of... Why am I hearing structure with this one? There's a structural aspect to things here. Where is this landing? I don't know. It could be home. Something around home. Um, could be job as well, but it's more like... A close to home kind of a thing, but you feel good about it and you feel like you're you're growing in this energy So you could be working on your empire, you know Here, but it feels good Okay, and the immediate future the eight of swords the six of swords the six of pentacles This looks like a missed opportunity kind of a thing um, hmm. You know when um, Let's say you have your eye on what the hell kind of an example should I give you because I I don't know where these examples come from, but let's say, what do you want? You want a boat. <laughs> let's give you a boat. Uh, and you have your eye on this boat and you have everything. You have everything you need to be able to, to get that boat for you. But start thinking like, okay, so this has everything I need. Now, when it comes to where do I place it in the water, in the backyard and the wherever do I want to store it and then you know and you kind of start thinking about where to place the boat if it has truly everything you need to verify everything and by the time you're done with your mind plans about the boat somebody else bought the boat and that was the last one that was like the one you wanted and it's like, you, you you know, you kind of look here to think about all these things. By the time you look to, in the direction of the boat, the boat is not there. The boat is gone. And it's like, what the, what, like, what reality am I in, you know? Um, it feels like a missed opportunity like that. You know, by the time you figure it out, it's kind of gone. Is it though? That six of pentacles is not very convincing to me. It's almost looking like, yeah, somebody else bought the boat, but there's a better boat coming, better than the one you planned for. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see the moon. For the moon, you get the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands. There's a push and pull kind of a deal here. There's a pull. This is such a subtle energy too. Because it's something you're currently invested in, something you're currently putting energy into. And it's almost like whatever you're putting energy into, there's also a slight pulling away from that. But it's almost like there's other energies coming through to help you to kind of lean forward again. So, what the hell is pulling you away from it? Because you want to give to this. So then why would you not? There's a wall of resistance somewhere. 
but then you've got support from the universe from friends from whatever and then all of that is pushing you forward again so there's a there's a push and pull kind of an energy with this one um interesting let's do the three of cups in the recent past man for the Three of Cups, you get the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever this was, and I do get that it's a very meaningful situation to you, uh, or was, um, it started off kind of um, on the wrong foot, in the sense of, if this was you, kind of kind of throwing yourself into something that feels really, really good for you, you're also bringing up quite a lot of fear with you. So if you entered this space thinking something like, Man, this is so good. Um, I hope I'm not going to lose it. That's fear. That's your fear. I hope it's going to last. That's fear. Because um, you just enter it with that sense of this feels so good. That's it. You know, all of the kind of side notes <laughs> to it. It's usually tied up to fear. And I do see a bunch of fear in there that you kind of set yourself up with from the get-go here without realizing that you're doing it uh we all do it we just don't realize that we're bringing that with us you know and that would create the reality of whatever the hell happened let's do the magician the ace of pentacles the death card the five of cups yeah you're you're showing up equally in that fear and in that hope of things working out or in that just showing up for this so half of you is super invested in this wants to go at this from every point available to you half of you is fear um that it's not gonna last that it's not gonna happen that it's not gonna it's too good to be true kind of with you that's fear you know first you're showing me the practical way of entering this and then you're showing it to me tied up to your manifestation both look the same the way you entered this and the way you actually manifested this it's from the same angle let's do the three of swords page of cups knight of cups the strength card and it was very very difficult when that fear did take over and it made things happen in such a way where it probably didn't happen in the way that your heart desired um it was very very difficult because your heart was still there with this you know but so was the pain of this kind of fading away under your eyes um man so something potentially didn't work out here no matter how much you wanted it to for the Eight of Pentacles, in the current situation, you get the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. There's um, there's a commitment you're showing to me here, which seems to move forward uh, with very steady and slow progress attached to it. And then you're also giving me a sense of you're not 100% satisfied with where things are in this situation but you're still investing in it even if you're not a hundred percent happy here um <clears throat> let me do the knight of cups the hermit the eight of pentacles the three of wands there's a sense of internalizing this what i just said and the experience shown up on the surface with that slow movement forward you're almost showing me the version of it as it unfolds inside of you energetically speaking and more tied up to your heart uh you are very much invested emotionally in this you may be upset you may be and i feel like you're upset with the progress here with the the slow and steady progress of this um but you're very much invested in this for a while you've been invested in this it's almost looking like you're working on two fronts the uh, what you truly feel inside and then what's happening on the outside so those match which usually is not the case which is to me it feels good when i see that kind of a match but you're still a little bit upset here uh for the nine of pentacles you get the empress the nine of cups the three of pentacles but you're bringing the best that you got to the table for whatever this is it is a partnership it is a commitment 
For some of you, it could be a marriage. Um, for others, it's just something really, really close to you. Family situation, I don't know. It could include multiple energies too. I just see it, whatever it is, as being like part of your pack, basically very close to home for you, you know? And it's looking steady. It looks like, I know you don't like this kind of steady though. <laughs> um, in terms of, yes, you would accept it. Yes, you would go with it. Um, <laughs> kind of giving me a sense of better than nothing. Uh, but still, this is a very slow moving kind of an energy to you. So I can understand where you're coming from with, you know, can it, uh, can it pick up the pace a little bit, a little bit of excitement in it, something, something. Not really. It's supposed to be steady like this for some reason. All right. That's the push and pull energy potentially from here because you're you have that tendency to be like, oh, let's take it, make it move faster, you know. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, and you're not doing it. So, for the eight of swords in the immediate future, you get the nine of wands, the ace of wands, the fool. Eh. It does get to you though. For now, it's not an issue. For now, you're just a little bit upset about it. But at some point it does get to you because your energy is not that. Your energy is not um, slow and steady like that. It's steady in a different way, in a more fiery way. There's, there's a different flow to your energy um, that doesn't really match the flow of whatever you're involved in here. You know, it's, it's kind of slow. And it's not even about, hey, you need to work on your patience. And it's not about that. It's just ultimately, it's just not going to be a match. You know? And that's where it starts to become quite the problem for you. Uh, where, again, right now, you're just a little bit upset. In the immediate future, you seem to be a little aggravated with it. Like, okay, now something doesn't make sense here. You know? For the Six of Swords, you get the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. You might take a step or two back from this whole situation to kind of recalibrate or something. Because um, when an energy doesn't match yours and you still are rolling with it, because it makes sense from multiple angles that you're part of it and you know you look at it objectively and it's like it's good it's not like it's something unhealthy and i need to get rid of it or it's just it's it's just not matching my flow necessarily my personal flow so when that happens usually it takes quite the effort quite the energy to adjust your energy to the flow of the situation you're dealing with so it almost feels like you're taking a little bit of break for you to recharge or to recalibrate a little bit, which doesn't look bad. It actually looks quite needed. Um, yeah, I don't know. For the Six of Pentacles, you get the World card, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups. The flow of this is going to change. Uh, once you take this little break to look, to recalibrate, to, to kind of recharge or whatever you need to do you're coming back and you're coming back with kind of like a fresh kind of an energy and it feels like the pace to this is going to step up to a little bit it's going to change so if something feels like it's it's moving but it's moving quite slow right now to the point of you getting quite aggravated about it at some point um i see you taking that step back coming back to it and then everything changes in terms of it, it gains a little uh, power, a little more juice. The step, uh, the steps that the situation is taking, the the flow of it. Because right now, man, it's slow. It's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. It's like, you would feel this. You would definitely feel this as slow. So everything seems to be coming back around. At some point, you're going to need to acknowledge when it's time to take that step back and then um things are gonna kind of pick up a little bit here you know um you're off with this with this one from the universe you get the devil the king of pentacles the hangman 
um, you're giving me a sense of I know exactly when to take breaks. No, you don't. <laughs> Apparently, no, you don't. You think you, you do. Uh, no, with the devil energy here, I don't believe you. Um, how do you do this? Yeah, you, you're giving me a sense of, I, I, I know when to stop. Are you... Mm. I feel like it's you're creating the, 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 the break stops here, which ultimately, yeah, it would be up to you. But I feel like a little bit of guidance from the universe would help with this one. And I feel like you're not paying attention to when the universe is kind of signaling to, hey, you need a break here, you know? You're just bypassing that and you're like... I'll take a break whenever I need one. Especially when it comes to something you're investing in physically. You may need to pay a little more attention to, you know, the pointers from the universe when it comes to taking breaks here. Um, this is a prideful kind of a response that I'm getting from you with this one. I know exactly when to do that. I know what's best for me. I know this, I know. And usually, yeah, you know, but sometimes, you know, we don't. And then the universe shows up and shows us, okay, you need a break now. You didn't want to listen before. Well, we're going to give you a break now. And then you get sick or something, you know, where it's like, oh, okay, now I guess I have to take a break, you know. So with this sense of self-acknowledgement and taking breaks, I would suggest you open up a little more to listening also to, yeah, suggestions from the universe as well instead of taking it so confidently in that direction of, I know, it's a little bit ego driven. So anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.